Oh, wait, what? Uh, before we get into the April Fool stuff, what the hell is happening with the PoE League? Has it gone pear shaped or what? Is it, uh, like, I have heard so much negativity about the new Path of Exile League that I'm actually like, what's what's happening over there? Uh, Kriparian quit. What's wrong with it? It's fine. Well, clearly not. Like, uh, some something's something's wrong unless they've patched and fixed it already. Uh, the crafting mechanics are considered ass, and you're forced into it as well, right? It's not not a mod you can ignore by any means. Uh, so I'll a quick look at the Reddit real quick. I haven't played this league for obvious reasons as I'm going away. Uh, uh, DS Lily, Necropolis mechanic is worse than Calandra so far. Can it be saved? Necropolis has the worst retention of any league shown on PoEDB. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not going to watch these videos. Uh, new league crafting mechanic. All graves use. Screenshots are from Crouching Tuna stream. So, is the problem that you're... Let's have a look here. Do you have to go through three separate windows just to magnify? Plus one to item level, plus one explicit modifier, 2,500% increased chance of caster modifiers, 1,500% crit modifiers, prefix, so. All right, so these are using all the graves, because what you do is you get mobs that add, you bury enemies that you find that gives you modifiers to the item that will come out at the back end, right? So you can kind of pick. Um, and they got a scepter. Oh, that's... Oh, dear. Oof. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's uh, the crafting is complicated. It should never be complicated. It should never be complicated. Depth doesn't mean complexity, often. Uh... Uh, for a league marketed as filled with quality of life, the league mechanic lacks quality of life. Hmm. My league expect experience. Trade-off. I received 200% global crit modifier. Remove two flash charges from killer's flasks while slain. 70% attack speed. I receive 1% chance to drop an additional jeweler's orb. <laughs> So is it, it's just not the risks, not worth the reward. Is that the problem? The risks just not worth the reward, or the effort isn't worth the reward at all. Hmm. Corpse crafting is a giant noob trap because of a poor explanation of how it works in game. It's a loot game. Like Poe does so much better when they just shower you with loot. At least Poe one. Poe two will be different, as we well know. Uh, when you're so poor, you cleared fetid pool for two respect points. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Give it a week and people have it solved in crafting. Oh, well, just over buff it so it gives better rewards, right? That's typically what, what GGG do. If uh, people aren't happy with the amount of stuff. Wait, well, a lot of people dip by that point. A lot of people just dip out of the league because they know another one's coming in a few months. And they'll do other things. Why did uh, Kriparian quit? I mean, Kriparian usually isn't super focused on loot. Hmm. Hmm. Rares feel pointless to kill due to reward removal. Yeah. Oh, he's playing Ruthless? I mean, Ruthless exacerbates the issues, surely. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Maybe it's a bit too much too soon. I, I, th I think I'll play the league when I get back from vacation. I think that that's my game plan is to play the league when I get back. Crip calls it quit. So here it is. Forced so the campaign isn't fun. Like there's no way I'm making another. It's forced so the campaign isn't fun. Like there's no way I'm making another character. Even if I get like an item that's like character building, I just don't want to play the campaign again <laughs> with like random mobs doing triple damage and one-shotting me repeatedly. Oh, it sucks if Crip is going. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm like ready to ARPG, but like this ain't it. This, this is actually the first league that I'm like quitting early. Yeah, I'm quitting. I'm done. 
Oh, man. God, having been in that position is that you're just ready to game. You're ready to have a good time. Your stream's going to be banging. And you just get there and you're like, I feel so bad for him, man. I really do. I don't know if you can relate as hard as many people unless you're like a streamer and stuff but when like something like this comes and you're like excited for it you've prepared for it you've probably strapped in like irl you know you've cleared your schedule like i'm gonna be doing this and you just get in there and you're like i can't fucking play this game i just can't play like i just can't do it it's fucking it's so stressful and dis dis disappointing i just can't play I don't know what his desktop is, but it's bad. Yeah, it's it's awful to feel that. That feeling is the worst. I, I mean, I feel that when a new expansion comes for like a big MMO or something, and it's like... <sighs> Starfield, yeah. The most recent one was probably Starfield. I think a lot of us were like, this is going to be awesome. We've got an R Especially like we're such an RPG-centric channel. That's like, we've got this new RPG. I'm going to play it in my way, which often leads to very different ways of playing it than other streamers. We're going to live with our consequences. We're going to have uh, choices that people will be like, how does your brain work, Mike? Because your mental gymnastics are through the fucking roof. You might as well have an Olympic gold. <laughs> and then you play it for like 13 hours and you're like, I'm so bored. I can't do any of the things I want to do. This isn't fun. And I'm just lost. And then, yeah, because you want that, like, Baldur's Gate 3, that divinity experience. Like, that's such an enjoyable time for everybody. <coughs> yeah. Such an enjoyable time. And then when it just dies, especially if you're, like, uh... I wonder how Ziz is doing. Because uh, Ziz will push through, I think. All right, Ziz and Cole, they'll push through. Let's see how it's going. I hope they fix it, though. Like, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll come back after vacation and then they'll, like, overbuffed it and there'll be loads more stuff going on. Uh, and it should be... It, maybe I'll maybe I'll have a good time with it. What was that ad? Uh, my brain naturally blocks out most ads these days. Uh, loves the league, hates the league mechanic. Yeah, so why is it forced? Why is the mechanic forced on you? Uh, Raven, you're playing, right? You're playing this league? Uh, I'm sure there'll always be people who don't mind it. Yeah, you're playing the league, so uh, is it like every map it's forced on you? Go to a new zone, you have to choose the affixes. That's the mechanics. Oh, okay, so as soon as you... So is this the window you get when you zone in? Right, and then you choose what you want the enemies to have. Always stuns enemies on hit. But Jesus Christ. On portal. I mean, they always stun you. That's rough. I said if you get a combo like above with fast hitting monsters and always stunned, you're screwed. Be careful. Can you reroll the map to get different ones? Isn't this more or less counter by using Brian King Pantheon? I think it should, but I got this in Act 4. <laughs> I got a Kaperma stun in Act 4. <laughs> oh, Jesus. More a campaign issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we come back to, like, I don't want to play the campaign again. I've already done it. I'm not doing it again. Okay. I mean, I'll check it out when I get back, for sure. I do want to play this league. Um, so, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. That should be.